Cester and Foster here into the UK. Um, the, throughout the many years that we've been fighting and campaigning for decriminalisation here in the UK, one of the things that uh, we've looked at is the Home Office has made recommendations to, in, in a, to make sure that websites are working safer with the Home Office to, pre to prevent trafficking. Criminalise sex work, safety first! Um, and they've already recommended not to put a Cesar or Foster law into the UK. And for the government, if they were to if they were to agree to this, they're going against their own Home Office, but also the many reports that have been created. Beyond the Gays has worked triumphantly for the past four or five years to incorporate uh, uh, regular statistics from uh, from uh, sex workers to be able to find out how the online element and online presence of safety is for the sex work community. But we never asked! We never asked! We have the answers and no one asked us. So we're here today. We're a collection of different organisations from across the UK. And, you know, we, we feel so much safer at work knowing that we do have that online presence. And if they take that away from us, all it's going to do is push sex work further underground, which means that they're creating more poverty, more dangers, and it's just absolutely ludicrous. This is a moral stance rather than looking at safety as uh, for other workers as human beings. It's just a moral, it's a moral approach. It's wrong. <laughs> is that right? Yes, we're doing rehearsals for it again. We're going to Amsterdam. Yeah, I heard you. Um, that, yeah, why did you come see it then? I okay, came when you did it at the uh, Kensington. Oh, Stop there. Oh, right. Are you oh, well, I apologise. I didn't. Champion initially called this debate uh, to implement a similar law that they have uh, under Trump in America, Foster Sesta, which criminalises all um, advertising. But she has now changed that debate to be about the Nordic model, which criminalises clients, 
which is equally as dangerous for sex workers because they criminalise clients, clients are jumpy, they can't, sex workers can't screen them properly, uh, they're already breaking the law. So why, you know, if they're already breaking the law, then why do they, why would clients care about sex worker safety? Um, the impacts of the Nordic model have been horrendous in Ireland and France. Uh, they haven't improved sex worker safety at all. Not a crime decriminalised. Sex work is not a crime decriminalised. The right to organise, the right to advertise. It's time to decriminalise.